Hey, welcome back everyone. It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. You know, I cannot tell you how many times people have asked me, Hey, Mr. 4K, what is the one significant feature that you like about the OLED versus LCD, LED backlit technology? Well, one obvious feature that by now everyone should know that's the uh, the fact that organic light emitting diodes they don't require for you to have any sort of LED arrays of light behind the uh, panel to give you that lit up screen with a contrast ratio and uh, bright picture picture levels uh, with the OLED, every and each organic light emitting diode emits by itself individually. That means that every and each pixel is going to lit up by itself. What does that mean? That means that you got on a 4K with the OLED, you have 8.3 million pixels, and those 8.3 million pixels are going to lit up every and each pixel by itself therefore the color and the detail will resonate in a much more vivid contrast ratio in a much more vivid picture with much more vivid colors uh, think about that every and each pixel has to lit up meaning the red's gonna be as red, the blue's gonna be as blue, the green's gonna be as green, and the black's gonna be as black, and white's gonna be as white, meaning that you're gonna have perfect formation of every and each color on the screen. And you can see that here uh, while I'm playing a Gran Turismo Sport right here, and you can see that detail here, how beautiful it is, clearly. And I'm trying to do my best with the camera to, to showcase that. So that's the one feature versus the LCD. What is the LCD? LCD is a, it's an old technology. It's a, it's a liquid crystal display uh, that's been used now for, for a couple of decades, maybe even more, three decades. Um, and uh, the issue with that is that you got to have a some sort of a light behind it to lit up that liquid crystal display panel all right now the problem with that is that you're never going to be able to accurately achieve a perfect contrast ratio or a perfect color accuracy due to the fact that you still require to have those leds in the back to uh, lit up that LCD screen and that's the problem that's the, the biggest issue that you're gonna encounter with LCD display now granted technology has improved with the quantum dots uh, technology has improved with the full array of local dimming uh, and of course the benefit of having a LED LCD television is that it produces a brighter uh, nits of uh, peak brightness which is great for HDR but then again when you turn the lights off once the lights off are turned off then you notice when you move to the left you move to the right you notice that the black levels are brighter they're not pitch black in uniformity that it should be the colors are not as vividly presented as they should be why due to the uh the fact that you have that led light beaming behind liquid crystal display even though it has the quantum dot uh, put right there behind it behind the lcd to give you that spectrum of colors even though you have these little tiny microscopic uh, quantum dots that give you that spectrum of color still you're not going to be able to achieve what 
uh, the OLED it's able to achieve. Uh, that's just a, that's just a fact, guys. You know, and and I'm not saying this because I'm sponsored by LG OLED. I'm simply saying this because I have experience. I've been doing this for seven years, guys. I have over five thousand videos. I have tested everything. Four different OLEDs. Four different OLEDs. B6, C6, C7, E8, and uh, in July, next month, July 16th, I will have a uh, test for C10 48 inch 2020 G Sync model. And I have tested Samsung KS8000, I have tested Q8 FN, I have tested uh, TCL R617, I have tested Sony X900E, I have tested both LCD and OLED. LED LCD technology I have tested these panels and uh, nothing can come close to picture-perfect detail than what you would normally get with the uh, OLED that's just that's just the way it is you know now what other features do I like about the OLED it's not just that it has this beautiful picture quality also, it has all the HDR features from Hybrid Log Gamma, Dolby Vision, uh, Technicolor HDR. Uh, it has an excellent amount of features to utilize the best possible uh, calibration picture quality on your media, whatever it is that you're watching, video games, movies, etc., etc., sports. Uh, it has tons of features to utilize that on top of uh, the the A9 chip that's built inside uh, second generation this is a second generation A9 chip Alpha 9 chip that really uh, helps process all of that magic if you will and it clearly shows showcases right here here I am playing a Gran Turismo Sport I mean and, and, and you would be hard pressed. You would probably think that uh, this is a Grand Grand Theft uh, Grand Turismo. I'm sorry. You would probably think this is a Grand Turismo Seven, but it's a, it's a Grand Turismo Sport. But it looks that great because it has all of these features built inside this television panel that only adds to the quality. Not to mention, obviously, built-in Dolby Atmos. Not to mention uh, the ability to uh, use variable refresh rate, G-Sync, etc., etc., etc. The OLED really has tons of features built inside of it. Uh, on top of uh, excellent quality, picture quality, and the design that the LG makes, it's... A luxurious it's really a luxury that you're gonna get with the OLED now as far as the burn-in guys I'm not saying that the burn-in is not possible I'm not gonna sit here and, and preach and tell you that oh that you will never experience a burn-in yes of course there's a possibility of burning but uh, from my experience if you take care of your panel if you know how to utilize all the features from the LG, including uh, that ecosystem that helps you reduce uh, the power usage, where you can actually adjust how much of that uh, power usage do you want to use, medium to low, high. You can also uh, set your LG television to turn off when it's not being used after five minutes ten minutes you can have it turned off by itself uh, there's so many precautions you can take you know if you're not watching HDR you can uh, do a preset that has the OLED light to 79 and contrast to uh, 77 you can turn off uh, dynamic contrast off you can turn off dynamic tone mapping if you're not using HDR you can save those presets so there's many different techniques you can use to preserve the longevity of your OLED. All of that stuff uh, I've been doing, and 
those videos are out there with all these tips that I've done, uh, okay? And once I get this OLED C10 by LG next month, I will talk more about that as well. So on this video, I just wanted to cl clarify because this question, it's being asked of me all the time. Even after seven years, every single time people say, well, what is the one unique feature and one unique difference between the OLED and the uh, LCD LED backlit? So I hope that me explaining this to you uh, gives you some idea the, the major key difference between organic light emitting diodes that uh, emit their own light meaning every in each pixel it's emitting its own light therefore it doesn't have any LEDs behind it okay that it's dramatic difference versus something that requires bunch of arrays of light LED lights behind it it's really difficult to control uh, the LED dimming I don't care if you have 400, 500, 600, even 800 local dimming zones. It's still difficult to control the light. That light, it's still going to go through. And you're still going to have that bleeding of light showcasing when you turn the lights. When you turn the lights off in your room, you're still going to see those black levels bleeding with that bright light. And you're still going to see those colors overwashed with that light. With the OLED, that's not going to be the case because OLED light emits its own light of 8.3 million pixels. If you have the 8K, well, you got 33 million pixels, and then you got, obviously, even more. All right, so I hope that this video uh, gives you some, ex at least gives you some idea. For those of you who are not familiar between the OLED and the uh, LED, LCD, LED backlit LCD televisions. I hopefully this will give you some uh, idea and the difference, the key difference between the two. All right. Um, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys pretty soon. Don't forget, next month I'm doing officially LG uh, OLED C10 uh, G Sync 2020 48 inch OLED which I will talk about on July 16th. Uh, that video will be there. So keep an eye on that. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Take care.